Hello everyone, we have an early game stream today, and I'm putting out announcements as usual. Um, so, uh, this opening pack is underwhelming, which is unfortunate. The best card's probably Conjurer. So I likely just take that. And then the rest of these are fine. Lumber mill can be quite good. I'm at a strong table here, like really strong table. Uh, these are all very good players. We're all top 30-ish in arena or something like that. Um, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, Remember that yesterday when I was complaining about yeah the the way the real way to win arena is to make sure that you don't take turns in fourth so that's a lot easier when you're never playing good players this this is the sort of table I could take a fourth at and not be too surprised so uh but regardless anyhow sorry uh the minor improvement um lumber mill strawberry patch mini pasture are the picks. Pontot's fine, but it's on a different category, and I'm gonna wheel something kind of crummy. Uh, I'm gonna get Scullery, Young Animal Market, Dutch Windmill as my options back. I could take Lumber Mill and just hope to hit Stone Cutter. It's a pretty sweet combo when that happens, and then Dutch Windmill actually becomes mildly a thing. Mini Pasture would be a little more interesting, but I think I want to go for, like, a Grain Strat early. So I guess I'll take Lumber Mill and hope to, like, somehow get Reedstone Foods, but it's dubious. Uh, okay, so I have a small-scale Farmer line, but I don't love that. Do you see an Oven Firing Boy? I kind of really want to get a bunch of Grain in the ground. Lumber Mill feels tougher in a strong table that values Reedstone Food. For sure it does. But there's also games that get pretty stone rich, and so even just having a two point miner towards the end of the game can be fine. But yeah, it, it maybe wasn't the right pick. Uh anyhow, I think I take priest here. Small scale farmer is also an option, but I think I'll go priest. I might slow play this opening by just setting up grain fields and then renovating into priest and see how that goes. Um yeah, happy Thanksgiving, Fofo. Oh, correct. I mean, the dream here is that I wheel Clay Hunt Builder or Small Scale Farmer to go with Priest, but that seems really unlikely. I would expect both of these cards to be gone, and I'm expected to be looking at, like, Oven Firing Boy and Mushroom. But that's where getting the grain fields early and Oven Firing Boy actually seems mildly fun, so that might be the play, too. Uh, amongst these miners, I'm really not thrilled by any of them. Maybe acorns if I play enough ox? I guess I have the lumber mill, so shepherd's crook is maybe the pick. I just don't know if I'm going to play lumber mill. But shepherd's crook is solid enough, even on its own. A wood to two sheep is fine. Okay, here's some cards. All sorts of cards. Holy crap. Rammed clay... Roof Baluster, House Steward, this was the pack. Pro Hell opened some stuff. Aw, dang. Um, I mean, I kind of want a Reno, but Rammed Clay is just really flexible and good. And then these cards are all saying Big House, like all four of these. And I'm going to get Rough Caster back, which sucks. This this pack is so dreamy. Why am I seeing this right now? This is like, this is dumb. Mining Hammer Roof Baluster is what you'd take. I definitely think I agree with the Roof Baluster take. I want stone. More stone is fine. It's just the best card in this pack. Mining Hammer over Rammed Clay is f defensible, but... I think I'm going to take Rift Baluster, Rammed Clay. I really wish I was seeing this pack of Ox again, though. These are Those are just very good occupations. Uh, we do see a Pastor. Not a great card, but this pack sucks, and it further goes with my maybe I slow play the opening. Clay Embankment is actually a thing with Rammed Clay. 
I will see that pack again. Well, no, again, I'm not, sorry. I Yeah, I'm seeing that pack again, not at the right time. Pro Hell and Port Hardcore are getting two, like, legitimately good cards. Well, Woodcutter is questionably good. It really depends on the game. But still, like, yeah, I'm going to get the Rough Caster. Although, you know, maybe my game's a Rough Caster game yet. Maybe. Maybe I build a bunch of clay rooms. If I get a huge stockpile of clay, I play Clay Embankment, build a bunch of clay rooms do really just do a very weird game in terms of setting up grain fields early take lots of clay ignore wood oh it sounds dubious but play pastor priest grow pretty damn late but maybe it works out if i set up solid enough feeding i don't know Honestly, I, my opening plans kind of is to play Conjure, Plow twice, Conjure twice, so. So, I legitimately think six of my actions are going to be there. The Buck Sweatshirt is dope. Oh, this Buck Sweatshirt is dope, yeah. Uh, it, uh, I, I got it a while back, but yeah, I, I really like this. Really do like this Buck Sweatshirt. Um... Probably just Pig Breeder here. I don't like Paper Maker. I might play Pig Breeder late. Um, the rest of these are pretty dubious too. Dutch Windmill can be kind of fun, but I didn't find the Stone Cutter. Even though I have a lot of stone, this is very expensive. Young Animal Market might be playable, especially with Shepherd's Crook. The Lumber Mill is looking pretty garbage in terms of actual discounts. Uh, three. F these are the cards I was expecting to get back. I actually legitimately might play Oven Firing Boy with Conjure stuff, and then might play three field rotation. I don't intend to fish or brook. Um, and then I'm gonna get Roughcaster back. Yep, Roughcaster Wool Blankets. Wool Blankets is pretty sad because I have a roof baluster. So. Uh, yeah. I mean. We'll see how this game goes. This is this is not the dream hand, but hopefully our opponents don't have dream hands. But based on the cards I saw Pro Hell have, how did I get... I had Rammed Clay or Mining Hammer third, along with Roof Ballast or House Steward, Carpenter type stuff third. Like, what was Pro Hell's pack and what are these other people running? Because it's good. So, it's concerning. Uh, but yeah, I'd be, very, I'd be very content here to... Wow, okay, I'm going to get Reedstone Food, though. Uh, I was going to do the Conjure opening, but I, I, I can still potentially do a Conjure opening. I take Reedstone Food here, then Plow on the wheel. Uh, I would really like to get early grain fields. Port Hardcore is just going to open the Woodcutter. I don't... I never really like that, right? I, I would not play Woodcutter there over just taking Reedstone Food, but I am not going to complain. I... I want every little help I can get this game. <laughs> uh... I am going to have the option at two clay here also, but without small scale farmers getting played, made it to Pro Hell. Interesting that Pro Hell is. Pro Hell might have big country then, which is unfortunate. Although, if Pro Hell has big country, I also took some of the small house support at least, so there is that. I am going to plow over two clay. I really want to get these fields, and if Pro Hell is big country, plow in early. I don't think people plow enough. I, I think people should plow earlier more often than they do. Because I think it really annoys big country players. And it's also just good. I My hand has no plow help, and all the other actions here suck anyhow. Uh, and we'll see. I really want to do this two grain field line. I really do. I would love to play conjure this next round, and then just travel, and then plow, travel, sow. So I only have one other free action. But we'll see. But honestly, that's kind of my plan. Uh, what did Pro Hell do? Day Labor? It went to Clay Day Labor? Yep, that makes sense. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to play Conjure here, and then probably Conjure. Second action. Um, not interested in building a room with Threat too. I mean, I kind of am, but we'll see. We'll see how the game develops. Like, I might just take Greenstone Food here then, actually. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I'm, a, I'm allowed to take Greenstone food here again. I thought I was going to get Freeock. But Port Hardcore is maybe not as strong as I thought because he's playing a bunch of cards that are dubious. I thought I was going to get Freeock, almost certainly. 
Just taking Reedstone food again does seem probably correct. It is perfect with the lumber mill for sure. Although my lumber mill is pretty bad, so like, do I actually care about lumber mill? That's the thing. Stretching for lumber mill is questionable. The other thing is my hand kind of is really happy with the pastor priest nonsense. So I'm still tempted to just do the conjurer thing and set up grain fields, but maybe I'm being offered too many things and I should just take them. If I take reedstone food here, I'm probably just taking two wood on the wield or I just plow again. Part of the problem is without sheep flipping or major flipping, I think I agree HIKLG. I think the problem is if I don't play Conjure this round, I'm gonna I might not even get to travel next round. And I, I, I think this is just safer, as crazy as it is. I, I think this is better than just taking the reedstone food. And I still think that the two early grain fields is very tempting. In a game that doesn't have early food. And nobody else has injected food yet. Nobody's played day labor things. This is not a very important minor hand for the mill. Yeah, that's exactly it. You'd still RSF. You're not convinced expensive. Oh, that's true. Expensive Ock might have come back. That's a good call, Lumen. That would have been interesting. If I'd taken the mining hammer. If I'd taken the mining hammer, then I have only one more thing for lumber mill. But it's fine. I mean, whatever. I'm I'm still in a good spot here. I'm not sad about what's happened yet. I'm uh, things are fine still in this land. Uh, anyhow, it went two reed and then reed stone food for Prohel. Uh, I guess Zapper potentially has childless. But anyhow, looping further back, the two grain fields line still is really tempting to me because in a game where I'm taking traveling at two, nobody else has played a day labor card. And sheep are coming fairly late. It looks like a kind of food tight game. So if it's going to be a little bit food tight, the there's extra advantages to me doing the. Uh, there's extra advantages to me just getting the uh, grain to the ground. Uh, I'd be pretty happy with four clay plow this round. I still think I'm really tempted by pastor priest lines. I mean, pastor might not work, but I'm I'm pretty tempted by priest lines. I guess one of the downsides of priest is I really want a clay oven, so I need two clay for Reno, three clay for clay oven, and then five clay for room. So four clay is really not the right number, but I do think I take four clay here. Uh, Port Hardcore is kind of looking like a player that's gonna just take all the wood in the game. <laughs> Which is fine. The player after me got room parts. Which is also a little bit of why I don't necessarily want to fight for a room. I mean, Prohel's going to have room parts pretty quickly too. Prohel has a ton of food. Prohel day labored and then has taken Reedstone foods and then played Mining Hammer. Okay. Port Hardcore needs food. Yeah, I'm going to do this. It also just makes annoying... It puts an annoying pressure on fireplace shenanigans. This could be childless still. Yeah, it is childless. Wow. Zapper really got away with that two read then. That's unfortunate. Taking two clay and then still getting away with the two read is bold. Carpenter for Pro Hell. Okay. I wonder if the... Where did the house steward wind up then? Probably with Zapper. And he just didn't need to play it. This is going to be an interesting spot. Port Hardcore might fish, and then I really am tempted by three wood, but if I want to do the grain fields, I have to commit the rest of my actions to grain fields. Port Hardcore is starting, probably for the fireplace, I guess. Port Hardcore is oh, playing junk room, not the fireplace. Okay, well, I don't think that's good. Oh, this is tough, team. The board's going to be pretty nice next round, and I'm going to be very tempted. 
do I want the fireplace? I don't really think so, but it's an argument, right? But I'm really tempted by this Grandfield line, and maybe I'm forcing it too much. There's definitely an argument I'm forcing it too much, because, like, the board next round is going to have... If I plow here, which I'm tempted to, it definitely goes build. So then, next round, there's going to be four wood, four wood, three wood, two reed, four clay, four... No, not four clay, sorry. Four clay, two reed, three wood, four wood, four wood, reed stone food, four food. So there's, like, a lot of very good actions, and I'm going to want to take traveling and so... Are the two grain fields actually that good that I should, like, ignore everything else that's going on? It's dubious. Uh, two grain fields are significantly better than one grain field. Two by stage one is very dubious. You regretted it much of the game. Yeah, sometimes the fireplace is kind of a trap. I don't think fireplace is actually good for me here. I think I'm supposed to just take three wood here. And then the start of next round, I might just get like four wood or something anyhow. And I... I try to get a sew action in stage two, maybe. Or maybe I do still plow here, but then I take four wood. I really would like to sow the grain early, but maybe it doesn't need to be stage one. It can be stage two, potentially. Finding time to sow in stage two is reasonable. But I think I'll plow here and then get a four wood action is what I'll do. We'll see what flips in round five. I, I'd still prefer to do priest, all things being equal, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to take a four wood action here. I think Port Hardcore might need to open fishing. I'll take four wood. And then we'll see what wheels. You bet they take read, read plus clay. See, Port Hardcore hasn't been paying attention to read, but you might be right. Port Hardcore might just take the read to get room parts. I haven't been able to read Port Hardcore's game yet because he's apparently not as good as I thought. His arena rating's just decent. No, he does fish though. I'm gonna take four wood. Teal's going to take the fireplace then. Okay. It's fine. Prohal's going to get four wood here then, which is kind of gross. But uh, that's fine. Port Hardcore will wheel the reed, and then I just take reedstone food. Sure. Seems okay. Yep, four wood for Prohal. Prohel could to read. Prohel could to read, but he does go four wood. Car Prohel did have carpenter. That's true. He didn't really need the four wood. And Prohel probably gets three wood back, but we do get a little more from traveling players this way. We get like I can just get the grain fields in stage two, presumably. Yeah. So like this will work, but I definitely still want to get an early so action. Uh, the thing is, I do think an early so action is going to be very good for me this game. Uh, sorry, I'm just thinking for a sec. I'm a little terrified there's going to be six wood on the table, but that seems unlikely. Teal should take three wood here, and then Prohel probably just builds a room. Maybe? Yeah, everybody can build rooms, actually. The room queue is pretty nasty, which is... Hey, if I'm the last to build this game because Pro Hell builds here, Port Hardcore opens round five with build, and I could just play P Pastor at the... St like, if I could just play Pastor in round five, sure. Like, let's go for that. That's fine. <laughs>
Reto would still be sweet too. I'd be I'd, actually Reto. If I'm the last to build, I could play pastor and priest. Uh, Pro Hell's gonna start playing to six wood because Teal didn't take the wood. Teal took clay. Okay, that's fine. If growth flips, Pro Hell might just grow and leave the six wood though. This is the gross part of this. Like, ugh, yeah, that wasn't what I wanted to happen. I wanted Teal to take the wood, but oh, Reno flips though. Okay, we do hit Reno. So Reno is a big, Reno is a big break. Um, this round might need to be travel and reno, which I don't really have anything to reno with, is the downside. It might just be the lumber mill. I can't reno with the clay oven, because I'm not going to have enough stuff to build a room then. Although, again, I could just accept that I'm building last. But I think this round's supposed to just be travel and reno. Prohel does just take the wood. Makes sense. I will be the last to build rooms. I think it's Reno Lumber Mill deranged. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Although then I still don't... I don't know. Reno rammed is not bad either. No immediate need for the mill. Uh, that's true. The rammed clay is actually sneakily decent too. But I do think I just travel first here. People... I mean, I guess... I don't know. People are kind of hungry this stage. I think it's important to make sure I get this travel, especially because it's. I still want to sow these fields too before doing anything. Save the stone for the well. The stone might be for the well. It might be stone oven, clay oven. Like, we'll see. House steward does come down. I don't know if I'd play house steward here. Playing house steward when you see a carpenter. And you see another player, like, people have a lot of resources. I'm not sure I would have done that, but oh well. I'm not in charge. I might play the rammed clay, though, yeah. If I play rammed clay on Reno, and then I play priest, I maybe play pastor, and maybe clay embankment still comes into play. Port Hardcore is going to start player, that's fun. Just do the mill later. Don't get distracted by well. The extra clay could help. Yes, I agree. I think I am aiming for two clay rooms, right? So I think play and rammed clay might be correct because the clay embankment might even come into play yet if I have a big pile of clay. Which I I could take. I might open next round of six clay, actually. There's a chance I get six clay. Zapper might just take the clay pile. I'm not sure. Depends on how much Zapper wants to keep letting the sheep pile up and risking that life. Port Hardcore starting here is questionable. Forward House Steward seems okay. I think Forward House Steward's okay. I just, I hate throwing three points to other players. And I don't, he doesn't have room parts. He doesn't have, like, he sees a carpenter and a guy that has a million room parts after him. Like, I would not. I would not play House Steward there, but I'm I'm a guy that doesn't like playing House Steward just for the four wood. I really dislike giving three points to my opponents. Uh, but other people are more willing to do it, so whatever. Pitchfork's pretty nonsensical here, but whatever. Uh, yeah. We do Reno. We I like the rammed clay idea. Let's get our clay up there a little. Maybe he's, even if he has brushwood, I agree, it's not better. You still need so much wood in order to build those rooms. If he doesn't have discounts, like, I, 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 I don't think House Steward was a very good move there. That's my opinion. Uh, my opinion doesn't have to be worth much, but I, I would have just taken, like, Greenstone Food. I would have just maybe plowed with Childless. I'm a big fan of plowing with Childless. Uh, I would just take the sheep here if I'm Zapper. I mean, I get wanting them to build higher. Okay, he's going to plow, though. Plow's fine. But, like, again, obligations on yourself are dangerous. There's a mini pasture in the draft, too. That's, the, like, there's still a mini pasture. So. My thought was it means his lack of read isn't crippling his own play. I mean, fine, maybe. But he, he also doesn't have a brushwood, by the way. He first picked Childless. There's no brushwood collector in the draft, so... Uh, I, I, look, I, I'm going to continue my opinion. It's not very good. Wow, we do get late growth, and Port Hardcore is going to squat. Uh, Prohel probably builds, which means I am going to grow like mega last. So that part is kind of unfortunate here. But, oh well. 
Uh, late growth is yeah interesting. Port Hardcore is going to grow first. I'm going to take six clay here. Can't be too wrong with rammed clay. There still is a house steward I kind of want to fight. Uh, yeah, I do have a sew action that I need to play. I need to play priest. I want to play pastor. Uh, so we'll see. It's a lot to do. And I might want to travel again someday. But, yeah. Priest first action would make Pro Hell not be able to double build. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's an interesting argument too, Lumen, but yeah, I think I think the six clay is too much value. And Prohel is just gonna build first anyhow. Interesting. Prohel taking Reedstone food here does just feel better. He might undo that. He did undo that. I think Reedstone food into double build just makes too much sense. Yeah, it should it should be Reedstone food into double build for Prohel, you would think. Seems way better. Uh, Zapper's going to take Sheep, probably. I will play Priest. Do I play Priest and try a start build? But then I can't sew. Oh, that sucks, too. God, maybe play Priest and start build is just right, and I just skip this sew. I want to sew, but... Port Hardcore playing another Ock and making himself hungrier. Fine. I mean, whatever. My Ock doesn't change, but... Just take six wood or three reed and sow next round. Oh, I'm going to be left six wood. Yeah, that seems better. Sow this round. Well, sowing this round seems pretty viable too, huh? Although, I might not get left this wood. Oh, no, I should get left this wood. Teal should take the sheep here. I don't want the three read necessarily. Well, I might want the three read. It depends on how much I want to fight the house steward stuff. But I kind of do want to win house steward. I can really slow play this game and still win house steward. Yeah, that's exactly correct. Lumen's right. And then I still have a rammed clay in hand too for fun hijinks. I can build a five room clay house this game and get away with it. Which is going to be big points with uh, Roof Baluster and House Steward played. So, yeah, actually, Lumen might be on to the play. I sow this round, I take Wooden Reed, and I just keep slow playing from there. Don't know if I'm going to grow a ton. Oh, the grow is going to happen way late. I agree. I definitely have to sow this stage. Sowing is way too strong to ignore. I have to sow this stage. Sowing this stage is way too good. Prohel might take two read here. Okay, Prohel just double builds. I was going to say, Prohel, I just realized Prohel could take the two read here since I still can't build. Uh, and then Prohel could have triple built. But uh, this is okay. I, I agree. I just take six wood. Oh, Prohel is going to undo. Prohel might be seeing what I'm saying. He might take the two read. Yeah, I mean, my food's going to be good after this, too, is the upshot. Prohel does, unfortunately, go for the read and the triple build, which is fine. Um... I potentially again I'm playing very I'm growing I'm not growing till round ten at the earliest, so like this is fine. I have a lot of action still before I get to grow. And whatever. I've picked up a six clay action, I'm getting a six wood action. I'm getting value from Priest and Pastor. I have grain fields in the ground, which are going to be pretty strong when I build a stone oven. Uh, wow, Zapper's not starting to grow. Zapper's just going to sow crops and keep Childless going. That's really unfortunate, because that's... Oh, Prohel hasn't built yet. Prohel can start build, but he's just going to build. Okay. I guess Prohel can't guaranteedly start build. 
So maybe that was okay from Zapper. I hope Zapper's going to start player to grow, though. Too bad we won't get to play Clis Clay a big, but for six play, we might. Is there a great reason that we're not going to get to? Probably just not enough actions, I guess, is the reason, right? That's probably the problem. But Port Hardcore taking a grain in order to feed himself. It's fine. Use the pitchfork. Uh, he did play adoptive, so he gets to adopt here too. It's fun. Port Hardcore's game's not that bad. Uh, I play Priest here. Priest is better than Pastor, right? Yeah. Pastor doesn't have to hit the team, but Pastor should hit the team. It would have to be a start build sequence. Gotcha. I mean, I might pull off a start build sequence though, right? Who else is building a room this game is kind of the fun question. I guess Pro wait, Pro Hell kept build materials. Oh, that's gross. Pro Hell didn't just triple build. And Zapper did choose to sow grain fields as well rather than securing the next growth. Well, that's gross. We can no longer start build anyhow. Pro Hell can just build. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's happening anymore. Prohel's actually playing a Dutch windmill. I don't know. I don't know anything. Zapper not growing there is pretty catastrophic. Like, because now the problem is Prohel starts to build and grows. Zapper might then start player to grow because Prohel still has a room. Then Prohel gets to grow again in the fictional round 10 when I was going to grow. So I might not grow till 11 now. Which is... It might not kill me because I'm doing really efficient things, but yikes, not having a lot of actions is dangerous, uh, for sure. But if I have enough efficiency, it could work, but it's not how I wanted things to be. Um, I really do need an oven. The question is, do I want stone oven? And the answer is probably I do just want a stone oven this game. So I think I build Stone Oven here, and then I play Priest. You can afford not to SP if you have Childless, but not if someone has rooms. Uh, also, it's just late enough. You already got all your Childless crops. Now, sowing with Childless is fun, so I don't entirely hate that, because it does multiply your crops real fast. But, like... I don't know. It's pretty crap because now you have to start player or pro hell can re up start. Like it just does so many bad things for you to not start player there, but oh well. Clay stack from Port Hardcore is fine. Do I want a clay oven? See, the problem with clay oven is that it does. It costs me room parts, right? So I don't think I could do that. He has to SP now anyhow, which is so bad. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Uh, I'm going to go stone oven. I think. I mean, there's good actions on this board, too. But I, I think this is what I should do. And then I think I should just play Pastor. So I can double build, at least. Or thread into double build. And then we'll think about what else we do. <laughs> he is going to start player to grow. So good for him. But also unfortunate. Like, one of the unfortunate things... Wow, he has Sleeping Corner. That's why he did this. He has Sleeping Corner. Okay. Well, that's gross. Um, so he's going to probably just grow, meaning Prohel is going to get the next grow. So that does open the queue up, though. So that's not horrid. Prohel's been doing a lot of undos today, and it's driving me a little wild. Come on, man. You're better than this. Uh, it doesn't open the queue if Prohel opens next round with build. Looks like we're growing earlier than we thought. We are potentially growing a bit earlier than we thought. I still don't know why Prohel didn't triple build. That part doesn't make sense to me. The wood stacks are insane. Wow. Okay, I guess we're just going to leave tons of six wood actions on the board because I think it's going to grow. So I'm last next round. Do I want to leave big stacks? No, but what are my opponents doing? They're leaving big stacks. What can I do about it? Uh, I could cry about it, but that doesn't do any good. So whatever. I'm just going to play, play. I'm going to play this. Gonna do the pastor. Gonna be ready to double build. Is four wood better than pastor? Meh. Prohel not triple building feels like a play directly against me. It's possible. 
Prohal, Prohal does annoyingly play against me like more directly than I want a lot of the time, to be honest. I kind of hate playing against Prohal, not going to lie. I mean, he's good, but I, I think Prohal and several other players worry too much about me when there are other good players at the table, and it makes the game kind of distorted sometimes because I think it helps. Like, I don't think I'm the only person you actually need to, need to worry about at the table of Agricola, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to do this still. Pastor, big stack build, seem pretty good. Yeah, I think Pastor 3 read is actually the play. And then I might start, I still might triple build, but controlling the growth queue makes a lot of sense to you. You don't have any issue with that. I think saving a room makes very little sense to rage. You're not controlling the growth queue. Like, having the ability to build is like, why force yourself to take another build action if that's your plan to the game? It's, it's, I would, I would like never. I don't think it's strong. I think it's pretty bad, actually, but hey, we're going to leave crazy wood stacks, everyone. Wood, 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 wood. Wood everywhere. I'm going to ignore all of... Actually, it's just going to go... It's going to... Next round's going to open wood, 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 I think. I think it's going to go six wood, six wood, five wood. I take three read. I start player, clay embankment. Pro Hell might build. If he does, good for him. He'll grow to five. I open round 10 with triple build. I might not get to grow, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I have all my fence parts. Like, I I really do have a ton of efficiency in this hand. Like, I can triple build. I have Roof Baluster in hand. If I have three read, that's, that's perfect to triple build and reno. I have all of my wood for fencing. And... Um, I still have Reno. Yeah, so if I win House Steward, I have a five-room stone house. I already have some fields done, too, by the way. So, I, you know, actually, growing late's going to be fine for me this game. This game's still quite good. You feel like he's in that situation, big action advantage incoming. Having the ability to use those actions to increase the build pressure seems okay-ish. Especially if he's planning a stable action. So, if, if he knew ahead of time that he wanted to do a stable action, then sure. But you can't know that. Uh, I'm... You guys, you guys are convinced that it's a good move, and that's fine. I'm pretty convinced that s delaying a build action is of dubious value most of the game. But, uh, you know, that's fine. Uh, it is going wood, wood, wood thus far. That makes sense. I'm taking three read here and start playing uh, with the clan bank. But the animals are kind of silly. Fencing is also tempting, but I don't have time for it. Um, somebody will fence shortly here. You're convinced of something you would consider doing, so probably some optimal. I mean, here's the thing. Like, you guys are choosing to purposely not build. It, like, if Prohel has another room, it opens up more threats also. Like, right? He just has more rooms. It's plenty of threats. Yes, he can threat and build, but... You're just guaranteeing yourself a later action? Like, ugh, gross. Why force yourself to take another action later in the game? Now, Prohel might have reno plans. I, I still think Prohel might be trying a fast reno game plan, which is why he didn't build the room. But I really don't know. But I'm definitely doing this. So, uh, You were watching yesterday's VOD and just nodding along with all the inefficiencies I was pointing out in your play. Definitely willing to believe my intuition spirit. Uh, who knows? Uh, who are we talking about delaying a build action? Oh, we're delaying. Are we actually getting SP here? Uh, would I ever major minor clay embankment? 100%. I'm playing clay embankment. I'm absolutely playing clay embankment. I'm planning to build stables, by the way. So I, I haven't mentioned this, but there's so many resources in this game. I'm building for, I'm building rooms and stables. With clay embankment in my hand, and I'm going to play it, I've added so many resources to this game. I am, I'm not just triple building. I'm building four stables. It also lets me take animal pairs until I fence. I also will plan five rooms... And I want five fields still, so, like, I don't even... Uh, yeah, I might only fence 12 and be happy. You were not happy with us having this much wood without fencing? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah that's why we stable if we play Clay Bankman. But that's part of why I want to play Clay Bankman. Five rooms should win House Steward. Nobody should build a six room. The stables are really good. The fencing should still be good. The roof baluster's still going to be killer this game. Um, like, my game is still pretty damn good, honestly, despite growing, like, super late. I've picked up a six clay action, a six wood action, a three reed action. I've got to play priest and pastor, which are efficient actions. I got to sow two early grain fields. 
I'm feeding off of a very simple stone oven that's just making life easy. I still might clay oven, right? If I play clay embankment here, I can clay oven to get another bake action next stage. Uh, if Assuming nobody else takes it, which Zapper really presumably wants it. But if nobody else snags it, I could potentially steal a clay oven in here too. Um, so we'll see. I Look, I'm doing lots of good things. A five-room stone house with fences, stables... Max family is pretty good. My actions are real low, but we'll see. You, my excitement's convinced you? That's fair. Only question is, do we have actions to cash in all of our resources? Uh, yeah, I think we do. I really think it's going to be pretty good. Now, do our opponents have a million actions? Is that going to be frightening? Yeah. Do I, do I, the real question for me is actually less if I have enough actions to reel in my resources. My question is, do I have enough actions to plow some more fields, and actually take animal stacks. That's what I really want to do, and I don't know how that's going to work. It's really going to depend a lot on if Prohel builds this round. But I don't think Prohel can afford to build and grow. Prohel needs to take five food fishing and grow, meaning that if I start player into build, I will get the growth in 10 and 11. Uh, because Pro yeah, Prohel can't build again. So actually, this is totally going to work. I get to grow in 10 and 11. I'll have enough actions then this game. I totally will. Nobody's even taking traveling, too. What, what, do I possibly get a five food traveling, too, at some point? Well, I, I would be a six. Never mind. I'm not, I can't take traveling. Like, my round is pretty planned. I don't actually have free actions until round 11, so traveling is going to get taken by somebody else. Probably. Uh, but, yeah. Anyhow. Let's get our six clay clay embankment. Oop. There we go. And we'll open next round triple build and four stables. That's a pretty efficient action. Also, for the record, triple build and four stables is a hell of an action. It should basically scare anybody else off from contesting House Steward. Prohel might still build another room at some point just to tie us. But that's fine. Prohal has a milk jug. That's fine. Adding more food to the game is fine by me. Although Prohal can't run on now. That part's awkward. Huh. Oh, well. 13-point build incoming. Uh, yeah, see, that sounds pretty good, too. I like, I like the sound of that. Really like the sound of that. I like the sound of build. Uh, I will just grow with the lumber mill. Am I growing with the lumber mill? Growing with the Lumber Mill eliminates... It does eliminate uh, Grocer for Port Hardcore. That's nice. Rip Guilds? Yeah. 16 if we believe in winning House Steward. Oh, I do believe in winning House Steward. So, But isn't that already calculated in there? Pro Hell's, I, I think Pro Hell's going to tie me on rooms. I agree. I think it's very likely Pro Hell builds another room this game. 13 is including House Steward. That's what I thought, right? Yeah, yeah. House Steward. Yeah, House Steward had to be on that count. All right, we're very thankful for uh, we are we are now thankful for the uh, the uh, sleeping corner because it's opened up the growth queue very nicely for us. Um, things have worked out here. Uh, cows flipping is kind of fun too. It, I have so many options, uh, although actually not that many options. Clay rooms are one point. Oh yeah, clay rooms are one point. I mean, they're they're well, they're two point. They're one point each. They're two points because they cover up a space. But yeah. Um. Okay. Anyhow, so the problem of growing with lumber mill is that um, if I grow with lumber mill, I I can't clay oven next round. Now, I don't think I get to clay oven anyhow. It looks like Zapper will clay oven on me. But I kind of don't have feeding otherwise. Uh, my feeding is my feeding is slightly problematic here. Um, 
somebody probably travels this round and somebody probably clay ovens this round. So that does put pressure on my that puts pressure on me for sure. That part's that part's trouble. Oh wow, I forgot I also forgot I had the stupid rough caster. This rough caster Oh, it only works each time you build one clay room though. Yeah, never mind. It's still garbage. It's still as bad as it ever was. Cottager for Pro Hell. Wow, Cottager. What is that? Pro Hell has a Pro Hell must have a loam pit. Pro Hell's gonna loam pit with Cottager and like Reno and build a clay room still this game. Pro Hell could build multiple clay rooms if he has a loam pit, so I might not win House Steward. That's gonna be gross. Or Pro Hell is Pro Hell seriously gonna try to grow to five in front of me? Is that what the cottager's about? He's gonna build a room and start player? I don't even know, whatever. Just keep hitting that milk jug. Uh, the milk jug will probably help me. Somebody's likely to hit the milk jug this round. Probably Pro Hell. Um I'm really hesitant about growing with the lumber mill just because I want to leave the clay oven option open. The clay oven option's very good. I think I agree with you, Paul. I think I grow with three field rotation. I think it's the right move. And then I can always just grow with lumber mill if I get clay oven blocked. I mean, the dream is that I still just get to scoop up six, like a crazy traveling action next round. That's That's really the dream. But I'd be pretty surprised if Port Hardcore doesn't just bottom feed on this to pay off his grocer. There's a lot of actions on this board, and I can't do anything to meddle with people, so. Is Red bad? That's a geologist. Look, geologist isn't always... As much as I trash things like geologist... You, it does still do something, right? It's still a card that actually has words. It does things. Those things aren't usually worth playing it, but if you do play it, you're, it's not like you've completely thrown away an action. Like He is going to generate like a bunch of downstream clay. What is all that clay going to do for him? Apparently, Reno, but, you know, I don't know. He plays Reedstone food there. It looks like he's going to Reno. Uh, but, uh, anyhow, sorry, I have to grow, three field rotation seems fine, yeah, okay. Uh, Geologist does seem to have funded a junk room. Red's game looks all over the place. Yeah, I mean, the problem is Red's game is just not focused, but you're trying to figure out why they run into clay so early. I, look, I agree, I don't, I don't know what Red's game for sure is. I, I'm not really worried about Red's game. Teal's game is totally fine. Childless into fencing first, into having grain fields, sleeping corner for late. They fenced it around where all the animals are at one. It's totally fine. I still think Teal should build a clay oven here, but Teal is fed, I guess, with animals. So maybe Teal... Teal might just be renovating. So maybe nobody does care about the clay oven, and I'm going to get away with it. Or Teal is going to take clay and renovate to the clay oven. And I am doomed. Well, that's that's almost certainly what that is. Rohel just plowing here is a good, strong move. There is a lot of plow pressure, it looks like. Traveling players is back on the menu. I don't have actions. I don't think I get to travel. I still think Port Hardcore travels this round. But I guess I think Port Hardcore is renovating, right? I don't know. If I can get traveling next round, that's just better than a clay oven. I don't care. I'd, I'd, uh, a six-food traveling that comes with a grain and a wood? I mean... Wake you up when it's our turn again? Yeah, this is the other downside of growing super late. We just get to watch everybody else do whatever they're doing. But that's okay. Uh, this round is kind of funky. Somebody should take three wood this round, or somebody's going to start player into it. I don't know. We'll see. Seems impossible that the food wheels twice here. I would be pretty shocked. I mean, Prohel needs food too, I guess, is an argument, right? Like, somebody just wants a five food. Well, Prohel does. See, Prohel kind of just wants to take a cow with milk jug. Three food plus a cow is better than five food. So it's really just what Port Hardcore is up to. I thought he was going to renovate, but he took grain seeds. I thought this was Reno Clay Oven, but Zapper's thinking about it. What's Prohel feeding with? Milk jug. Prohel's feeding with milk jug. 
milk jug. <laughs> I mean, I I don't know what else ProHealth's feeding with, so ProHealth might still just take five food. I don't know. And day labor, possibly. I still think ProHealth has. I feel like Pro Hall has this loam pit, right? I don't know why you play Cottager if you don't have a loam pit. But Pro Hall's also feeding us with that milk jug. Maybe. I mean, look, I don't actually know if Kyle's getting taken this round. I don't know what's happening for sure, and my opponents are also now slowly thinking, which is totally fair because this game this game is still funky, right? I didn't build until round 10. I'm finally growing, and yet I triple built with four stables. I still have fencing materials. Like... I still have a roof baluster in hand. Like, I still have a lot of good things. But so does everybody, because I grew super late. So everybody has good things. Like, Pro has most of his fencing materials in hand. Teal already fenced. Like, Pro Hall's final actions might be SP Loam Pit, build a wood room. Um, see, I thought about that, but... Does Pro Hall really... I don't think Pro Hall has enough food to possibly do that, exactly. Like, Pro Hall can't jump me in the growth queue here. Like, I just don't think Prohal can dream of that. Prohal definitely wants another room this game with House Steward. Prohal kind of might want six rooms, is my fear. Prohal going to six rooms is gross, but it's an option for him, potentially. Teal's disconnected? Oh, well, that's gross, too. Zapper has good reputation, right? Oh, it says he's back online. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Oh, he does have some penalties down, so must have issues. He is renovating, probably clay oven time. We hope it's just a hearth, but it's probably clay oven time. It is clay oven time. Okay, we have issues. Uh, you would SP loam pit into day labor, no food to plant? Yep. Yeah, he can't SP loam pit with zero food. He has issues. Pro has some issues. Mostly food issues, which is why I'd be very shocked if somebody's not taking this food pile. Yep, there it goes. So I definitely have some issues on food now. Teal might SP for cows. No, Teal decided to rent on clay oven, and Prohal did take our food. So our food is now a problem. But we'll deal with it. How are we dealing with it? I actually don't have a clear answer. Our food could really cause us big issues here. Uh, I guess there's still a hearth on the table, right? Or no, Pro Hardcore has the hearth. Uh, yeah, I mean, we kind of have to so bake, which is gross. I still, th I still feel like Prohal should have three, f I, well, Prohal's gonna, I'm still a little surprised Prohal wanted five food instead of three food and a cow. But, again, it also is how much is he playing against me here? I don't know. Oven firing boy? Uh, it could be oven firing boy time, alternatively. Could be oven firing boy time. I don't have that much grain, though. I don't know if I could do oven firing boy. Wow, there's also going to be crazy resource stacks. This is kind of nuts. Clearing spade for port hardcore makes, like, no sense. Prohal's not happy with that star player, but he'll live. Oven, firing boy, wood lumber mill? Yeah, that would be illegal. Hey, the cow does get taken, though, at least. Food pressure is slightly off. Um, Yeah, I actually genuinely don't know what I'd do here. I kind of need so bake. So I, one option is I open this round plow, and then I do so bake. Plow, so bake, grow. Yeah, that might be what I have to do. It's just kind of gross because there's a six wood stack and there's a pair of boars. Okay, there's not six wood. But there's a pair of boar that's probably, I guess, just a distraction. But it's 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 tempting. But plow is also very strong. There's a ton of plow pressure. Nobody should so bake. So, sure. How can the boar be correct here? Certainly Teal takes two animal pairs. I mean, the boar is just correct because blocking is fun. Yeah, I have stables. Like, I that's a four-point boar action for me. 
Like it's a, it's a it's a great point action that I can't take because I don't have food. But plow is an excellent action too. Pro hell started, that's fine. We don't care. Pro hell does have a loam pit. Surprise! Not actually. Now the big issue is pro hell might be trying to build. Pro hell very well could build the six rooms now. So, um, building the six rooms for pro hell will get annoying on my end, but I'll survive. But not ideal. But, hey, you know, I get so baked back here, I'll sow a grain, bake a grain. I get to grow with a lumber mill. It's still a ton of points. I do have three fields, which is great. There's a lot of plow pressure still on the game. They're really, really things are good. I am going to sow one grain here because I really need to keep the grain multiplied. And I'll bake the other. My food is still going to be on edge. I'm going to need to sow bake again sometime in the next stage, but that's fine. I'm going to have open fields again, which is very important. Uh, I can travel again at some point next round, too. So uh, We just grow into our last room in 13 instead of 12. Oh, I, we can grow in 12 also, right? Like, it, Pro Hell's not actually building a room here. Get veg. Oh, veg and three field rotation going too. That's true. That actually totally is an option for some food too. Yeah, I'm gonna be totally fine. I'll be. I'll, I'll live. Um, I don't think Prohel is trying to jump me in the growth queue deranged. I think that'd be nonsense. Like Prohel just start playered. If growth flips, he can just grow. I don't think he's building a room. I don't think he really wants to build a wood room here when he has loam pit. I think he's just gonna reno and later build a clay room. He'll get to house steward range. He'll get a clay room later. I think trying to... F oh, here's the big thing. First actioning growth with room in round 12 is so lame because of whatever flips. You really don't want to hand whoever's after you. Well, I guess maybe... Maybe he really... You know, maybe... Maybe maybe Proha is just going to not care about what Port Hardcore is up to. But... Port Hardcore Reno's here... Curious with what? Joinery? Joinery is actually not crazy this game. Joinery is totally legitimate for Port Hardcore here. Curious if Port Hardcore is instead going for Pottery. Pottery just actually feels worse than Joinery for him. But it looks like he's buying down to get to pottery. Or he's buying down for three stone. There's no... Oh, there, the well was still there. Oh, never mind. Well, yeah, that's pretty... That's totally fine. Well done, poor hardcore. I I forgot that the... Forgot nobody took the well yet. Uh, okay. Well, that's legit. <laughs> that's fine. He can do that. I uh, will lumber mill. Ungrow. I'll be pretty happy. I mean, I'm at 21 points. I still have fencing. I still have a big reno. We'll see. Three stone from Zapper makes total sense. It's fine. What are guilds, anyhow? Yeah, who cares about guilds? Uh, you're not saying grow first and 12 is thing, but you think the wood room might be? I mean, now that Prohel just got more wood, I think the wood room is fine. Like, he got the four wood actions, so yeah. How is Prohel... F oh, did Prohel not get the food yet? No, but Prohel is just renovated. I think that's fine also. Uh, I'm pretty happy that Prohel's renov Pro Hell renovating on day labor is actually pretty fantastic for me. I also think I get the pair of cows here, which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, Prohel choosing to reno on day labor is nice because the reno pressure is pretty low, so my roof baluster is still going to work out. I probably can reno fence this game. Uh, but yeah, I think I get a pair of cows here. Prohel grows. I think i think port hardcore plows and then i take a pair of cows uh and then i take veg i grow with a shepherd's crook i probably don't use although i might shepherd's crook right i could like fence these eight and then fence here here fence 13 this game maybe and just plow one more field that's conceivable feels pretty good uh getting to grow fourth action in 12 feels good yeah also, just getting to grow again feels pretty good. That's that, that's where I'm at. like this is where this is where building clay rooms is funky. Be, you don't care as much about building clay rooms and growing into late as long as you do enough good things prior to that, and that's what's happening here. Now I have an option between plow and cows. 
Port Hardcore didn't plow again, which seems like a mistake. But I, I think I have enough fields, even though I'd like more fields because I'm greedy. I think this has to be cows. Cows is very strong. Sleeping Corner is really good for teal. That's true. Everybody's growing to five. Uh, that part is kind of gross. Like, Pro Hall's already at five. Teal's just going to grow to five. I'm going to grow to five. And Red's just going to get grows. So everybody's going to get Max Family this game, which is slightly sad, but... Oh, well. Uh, anyhow, I take a pair of cows. A pair of cows is good. It's good, good, good. Grow party. Who cares about late growth? Yeah, who cares about late growth? Uh, plow happens from teal. That's the right move. Plow pressure is high. Plow pressure is, like, really high. Uh, roof baluster is still incredible for me. I probably take veg here and then sow bake. I sow a grain, sow a veg, bake two grain, and then hope to get plow in order to activate three field rotation. Um, that seems pretty strong. So yeah, veg, sow bake, grow shepherd's crook. I think that's my round. It's a pretty good round, although teal is going to sow bake, probably. Yeah, teal might block the sow bake, but I can just take veg. Traveling then is also fine. Actually, maybe I don't need traveling. Man, eh, traveling's not terrible. Uh, Teal's game so far resembles a lot of your childless games. Wondering where the point ceiling? Yeah. Uh, what happened there? Sorry. Port Hardcore took clay. Okay, that's like the least threatening thing Port Hardcore could have done. Sure, just the pottery sucks. Okay, man. Uh, it's fine. Gonna get my veg action out of the way. Hope for so bake. Prohal will build... Prohal took the read. Prohal very well could just build two rooms in order to win House Steward. Teal's gonna start player. That's unfortunate, but Plowso is very good for Teal. So I'm never getting Plow next round, though. So that's sad, but oh well. Yeah, this SP from Teal is very good. I don't, like, want to agree with it, but it is very good. It's very... Legitimate mini pasture. That's. Eh, I guess that's fine. The plow so is huge, though, for teal. That part's very good, so. Uh, what's my calculation on whether to sow grain or not? Uh, generally, I just feel like sowing grain is correct because it's points and food, but three field rotation is f a funky beast, isn't it? I don't usually play three field rotation, so I don't know the right answer. Pro health fences out. Happy with fence pressure decreasing, although I still really just want red fence, I think. I guess it depends on what animals I get next round. If I get a pair of boar next round, maybe I do need fences, but... Hey, there's a plow driver from Port Hardcore, so even though he played a mold board plow, he also has a plow driver... This is why he was trying to reno fast, and it just took him way too long. But whatever. Um, what was I doing? Sewing? Probably should still just sew. Sewing is good. I need to do it. I need to bake. Yeah, it's tricky, right? Because if I don't sew this grain, I get six food. But this grain is a point. It's possible I need to just bake more grain in the final round. Oh, we we need the fields very much. We really want to plow. We're just not going to get plow next round. It's going to go plow so plow next round. There's no way I'm getting plow. I might, I might SP Nada at the start of next round just to make sure I have red fence and plow so potentials. Because that's really all I need. Well, and food. I need food. I think I sow the grain, even though this, I mean, three field rotation is just not going to work, but maybe it'll work in the final round or something, but I think this is fine. I can travel next round too. I don't know. You think sowing the grain was correct? I think so too. I think I'm supposed to sow the grain there. I think there's just too many ways. It's... Also, maybe I, maybe I get plow. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it goes plow, sow, boar, start player or grow. I don't, you know, I don't. I, I can't tell you for sure. Uh, I do really want to play Roof Baluster next round. Uh, I probably need to travel. I still need more food. 
But my game's pretty good. I'm, at, I'm about to be at 30. And I have more actions than other players. I have a big red fence in plan. But I this is a close game. People are doing good things. Port Hardcore is the only one out of it. Port Hardcore is very out of it. I'm not worried about Port Hardcore's game. but uh, There's going to be a ton of wood next round, too. And clay. Uh, so I definitely should just take some more stuff, I guess, for fences. But I barely need it. But I do need a little more for fencing. I want to fence 13 at this point, I think. Uh, fence a big four here to trigger Shepherd's Crook and then fence these guys. Uh, so I do need I do need a few more resources. Is there any world where we build a six room? Uh, just because Prohel is going to build a six room, right? The, the reason to build a six room is because Prohel is going to. But the problem is I don't have enough time for a six room. The reed cost in particular is egregious. I can't, if I could take two reed, and then could take a clay stack, maybe. But I, I, Prohel is just going to steal House Steward on us. And losing House Steward is actually going to be pretty brutal. Losing those three points is going to be rough for me. But, oh well. It's a beautiful Plowso from Teal. Didn't see Prohel was getting to six. Yeah. We have a nicer farm. Seems like we're still winning. Uh, we might be winning. But it's not guaranteed. Prohel stealing House Steward is annoying. And Prohel probably still has time to renovate. But I, I guess it still might be okay. The up again, the big thing is we have a huge red fence. We have like a we have like a fifteen point action saved up still, right? Or it's gonna be a I mean it it, it requires a bit of setup. We're still a couple actions away from it. But we're gonna we have a very clear path to uh, about fifteen more points, but we're gonna lose three. We still need to take some animals. We'll see. Um I do get a pair of boar here. Uh, I think it's really hard to turn down a pair of boar. Actually, it's very hard to turn down a pair of boar. Pair of boar are perfect, actually. I don't have to breed them here. Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is this is fantastic. The boar are great, at least. Uh, I think I will SP Nada if it comes back. SP I think is still actually really strong here, unfortunately. Uh, but I gotta take the boar here. You hope Teal's not gonna start player for any reason, but I I really don't. Well, maybe maybe I don't have to start player for any... Well, the red queue is actually kind of a problem. I could kind of get red... Well, I can't get red blocked. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, the boar coming back was so good. The boar coming back was very good. Uh, Teal is set to reno. And Teal still can grow. Teal has a few things. I mean, so Teal's, Teal has like a mid-40s, but the upshot is Teal's kind of out of points in the final round. So that part's nice. My feeding still kind of sucks. That's an issue too for me. Um, I don't actually, like, I kind of need so bake next round. Prohal takes the sheep. That's fine. Our Shepherd's Crick's beautiful there. I guess I do kind of want to fence this round because Shepherd's Crick gives me one extra point if I fence here. So maybe I do just take, I mean, I Port Hardcore should fence here, right? Well, Port Hardcore could start player in order to get more fields with Mold Board. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I'm tempted by SP Nada. I'm tempted to take resources and try to fence this round, because fencing this round triggers my Shepherd's Kirk right away and would have all my stuff breeding. But I just don't think I should get fences. Yeah, I'm not going to get fences. So I think this is where I just SP Nada. Just as gross as it is, I've been in too many of these games lately where I don't SP Nada, and I regret it. Regret it a lot. I also could debate taking three stone to deny Prohel's big reno plans, but I don't think I have time for that. I Well, do I have time for three stone? I could take six clay here and potentially build a pottery if I take more stone. How many actions do I really have? How am I doing all this? I also need to play roof baluster and pay for it. I need more food. <sighs> Got a lot to do. I do need three food. I probably should just travel. Yeah. 
I don't know if I need SP anymore. I'm trying to debate. I mean, SP buys me Plow So, which is also really nice. But Prohal still just gets Plow then, so... I don't know if it matters much. <sighs> I might just need to travel in players here. Where do I just take the six clay? You don't know. If... Oh, I see what you're saying. Red, yeah, red, red did leave a fence block open. So maybe I should just protect myself. Although I'm never going to want to open red fence. Oh, this is gross. This is gross, though. Who knows why Red did anything? Red was going to build stables? I don't know. But yeah, having an extra wood from Red is gross. We're hoping it's for stables and an organic farmer, but you don't know. You can't know. Oh, God. God, God, God. I don't know what to play here for sure. There's a lot of different ways I could try to take this game. I think I, I'm going to go six clay. I need to eventually take a few more fence parts, right? I want to fence 13. I also need to take food. I might want to go pottery yet. Or joinery. I don't know if I have enough actions to, but I'm going to run out of points. Okay. Teal's going to run a joinery. Teal taking the three stone is welcome, though. Prohal can't take this. Prohal probably can't run out now. Fence 15 in Teal's configuration looks okay. Nah, that's that's just, that's definitely wrong. Never in Teal's configuration. I would never do that. Well, I, oh, but because Shepherd's Crook, I would do that. I, I want to leave myself open to plow. I don't think I'd do that. I think leaving myself open to plow is still correct. Cow gets taken here by Prohal. It's fine. Red, be a pal and start player. Just start player here. You start player a lot of things already, but start player one more time. Plowso is great for you, Red. Uh, it's not even, but just do it. Forgot about the food there. Yeah, the milk jug food's still fun, too. It is nice. Red's going to grow. No, of course Red grows. What am I talking about? Okay, uh, do I play... Do I SP Nada to be safe? Oh, Red could still start playing. Okay. Teal should just Reno. You'd think. Prohel's gonna build another room, probably. I'd probably just take f four food. Uh, this, is, this comes with another wood. I guess I do it this way. I do this. I play Roof Bellister. Maybe I am supposed to SP Nada. Nah, I'm just going to keep taking good actions for right now. Am I? Nobody's taking traveling on me. Maybe it is SP Nada time. No, I'm going to I'm going to hope that Red's going to start player for me. Maybe that's dumb. I do need to get Roof Baluster out, yeah. I guess I could have Roof Balustered first. That maybe was better. Oh, duh, Teal was going to grow. Of course Teal was going to grow. Why do I keep forgetting people needed to grow? Uh, I'll redeem that at the end, Deranged. I appreciate it, uh, but my pals... Luckily, we're midday, and he's back to his usual actual sleeping during a stream, and I'm not going to interrupt that sweetness. Prohel is going to build a room here. Yep, takes my house steward away. We thought that was coming for quite a while. Prohel is probably going to actually just build the pottery. So that's half day streams, happier dogs. Yeah. God, I wish I had time for like a joiner or a pottery. This is the downside of growing so late, everybody. 
don't have time for these brilliant things. Also, I still kind of need so bake at the start of next round. I keep forgetting about that, but <laughs> my food is my food's gonna be rough. Come on, Port Hardcore. SP, SP, SP. Start player. All right, who are we actually beating this game? <sighs> we have a big red fence is still the dream. Defense action is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus sheep is 12, the red. So it's a 17-point red fence. We're breeding two more points, so that's that's pretty good right there, actually. It still takes me to 49. What does Teal going to do to score? Teal's going to rent something, 45. Yeah, Teal's going to get annoyingly close still, too. There's going to be huge wood stacks. Somebody's going to stable next round. Although Port Hardcore is hopefully the person stabling next round. This is an early stream. Welcome. I'm uh, taking a long lunch break today, and I do have work stuff in the background, but it's the day before holidays and nobody's doing anything, so. Uh, okay, what here? Is it S? No, it's just Roof Baluster here. Although Roof Baluster has the annoying side effect of that Prohel could also still get enough resources to renovate, but I mean, I, I clearly need Roof Baluster here. Not even a choice. I clearly need it myself, but do I want that stone yet somehow? I don't know. Kind of do. I kind of want a joinery, I guess. SP is still open, I know, and I just keep getting greedy for other things. Teal is going to reno before Prohel, but Prohel has Cottager. Cottager allows Prohel sneaky, dumb little nonsense. Okay, team. We got six actions left this game. How the fuck do we use them? Part of the problem is how do we feed? You forgot? Don't let it happen again. It's easy to forget that you can run on day labor, trust me. It's very easy to forget that nonsense. It might be SP Nada into a plow so into Ren Fence into pray to God we get enough food. But I don't think I get a plow unless I start player, and plow is one of the few ways I score. I think Teal's gonna first action Ren Pottery or maybe take wood and try to build stables. I think we do have to SP, I agree. I think it just has to be start player nothing here. I could get fence blocked. Teal could open red fence and red could fence. I'm going to say that's not going to happen. And I'm going to open plow so. I think. I could also just open so bake. But I don't think I'm going to do that either. This is so comically greedy. What is the wood for? Uh, well, I kind of still wanted to join me somewhere in here, too. I don't know if I have enough actions. I needed to take a resource action in order to fence enough. Plow so forces Prohel to plow. and red. I mean, red's already losing, yeah. I mean, red, red has a plow driver, but a mold board they never used. I mean, Prohel... Prohel really wants at least another plow. I mean, Prohel's really low. Well, Prohel might try the three stone first. Pro Although, do I even care if Prohel gets away with a reno? I don't know if Prohel's actually the one I'm worried about this game, huh? I just don't think Teal's going to open red fences is really my bet, right? I think Teal's going to open red pottery. I think there's a fight for the pottery going on, but that's my claim, and I could lose it. It just feels a bit, like, conspiring to me for people to fence block me, but, you know, maybe I am too greedy, but. 
Red's action is kind of completely random. They're for sure out of the game, and so admittedly, Teal could attempt to rend fence. Teal could attempt to rend fence, assuming I'm going to get fence blocked. I think, see, the thing is, Teal still has to worry about Pro Hell beating them. Like, this is this is where maybe I always read endgames wrong. I would never, I would, like, just never, in a lot of these positions, think about the game in the way some of you do, but then that has caused me to lose games where I don't just fence here. But I also hate the idea of Pro Hell getting gifted Plauso. Okay, you, you agree it's Plauso. These guys have me freaked out, but it feels like such an easy Plauso, I agree. Now, the question is, am I actually sewing because of three field rotation? Three food might just be better here than the point. I actually don't have a good answer here. I think I do leave the field open. Is a 50 point win even a win? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, okay. Time to see if Teal actually tries to red fence block us. And if red follows through. And if that happens, we just cry. We just cry. We really cry. It doesn't happen. Teal's just going to go for the stables, which is what I thought. Or the joinery. Which is still all sorts of problems, because Teal has plenty of points coming in. Also, Prohel definitely going for the Reno, but again, Prohel's not my threat here then. Prohel renovated doesn't scare me. Like, Prohel takes a Reedstone food and a day labor and gets to 43, breeds to 45. That's not a problem. Uh, so I will red fence though now because, yeah, I'm not risking it again. How are we feeling about red major here? No, we're not feeling that. We're not feeling red major. We're just going to red fence now. Uh, oh, Prohel didn't plow, though, and Red is going to oblige us by plowing. So, yeah, I, I think Prohel's way out of this game. So, yeah, it's really just how many points can I drag out of this end game? And the answer is I actually don't have a lot of points. My points are about to dry up real fast. Because uh, I can't even major anymore. So this is kind of awkward because... Um, I actually don't know how to pay for this. I guess keeping clay to just build a fireplace is correct. But keeping... Because I'm never going to build a major. We maybe should have sewed one more. Yeah, what did Prohel do instead of Plow? Prohel's working for a Reno. Uh, okay, I think I save all of it. I think I save as much clay as I can for other things. The points are running out? Yeah, maybe we should have sewn one more because the points are running out and we can just take food. Yeah, that's true, actually. Uh, although, I'm at 49 and I breed two more. I'm at 50 and I just take a stack of food here. I probably do win this game. I've probably... Probably nicely of one here. This is red joinery, I'm guessing. I mean, red joinery is strong. And then pottery is still a possibility. That's actually really obnoxious. I'm definitely going to... I think I have to major block next action. I think I build a hearth. Yeah, I think I think I need to block pottery now. Pro Hell's Reno looks like three actions for three food and six points. That's pretty solid. Yeah, I think it's solid. I think... Red, I think I think Pro Hell's really running out of points too, right? Like, how else was Pro Hell supposed to score? But Pro Hell's just going to be third here. Uh, I really just need to make sure that I'm blocking Zapper's points. Zapper can take wood as a two-point action. Uh, I can build the pottery, though, as the other two-point action. So I think I build... I think I build... I think I need... Oh, 
they can also take a cow, huh? Yeah, that's annoying. But I think I major here. So bake looks important. I don't think so bake's actually very important. I think fishing is also just totally fine. Also, now that I'm building a fireplace, I actually totally have other ways to feed too. Keeping two wood was correct. For what reason? I can't stable block. There's no stable blocking because I already built all. I already built all my stables. That's that's part of the problem of building four stables. You can't stable block. You can't. Uh, I'm gonna just take this point on the fireplace. It gives me. It does give me feeding options, and it blocks pottery. Uh, blocking pottery is, I think, fine here too. Um, I do think Teal probably takes cow and then takes a wood stack. I am gonna just hope to get five food and then like veg and then. Yeah, five food and veg is actually probably how I end this game. Um, this looks pretty winning. Yeah, I think I think I've won. But I mean, I think the field was. Re I think field was pretty important. Like field was two points and three food, and I should have just got red fence back most situations. Like there was a slight risk, but we can fence block red. I <laughs> oh I I oh I do have a one point fence action. Correct. That that's true too. I do have a one point fence action left. That's fun actually. Um, that that is a that is a option also. Uh, I I didn't I didn't want to fence that much because Shepherd's Crook was worth getting the sheep, but I totally can uh, fence as a point. So I can veg as a point. I can fence as a point. Um, I'm happy to just take the cow as food. Actually, the cow is. The cow is essentially a four food action for me. Uh, is that enough? Eh, it's more. Yeah, it is enough. I can eat the sheep without costing myself a point. And then I also have three field rotation. So the cow is enough to feed me. So if Teal doesn't take the cow, I take the cow to block cow on, from Teal, actually. is what I'll do. But it looks like I have enough to win this regardless. So I, uh, yeah, this this was a funky game. First picking a conjurer, not necessarily having the power cards. Although who did have the power cards? I, I'm still shocked Prohel hasn't come up with stronger stuff. Because, again, Prohel's pack is where I saw Roof Baluster House Steward third. I guess Prohel must have first picked Cottager Loam Pit while seeing Roof Baluster and... Prohel saw Roof Baluster and House Steward and first picked Cottager Loam Pit. Which is, I guess, conceivably good enough. But and then Port Hardcore probably just didn't draft the right card. Although Port Hardcore's hand's pretty sick too. Port Hardcore has a Grocer and a Plow Driver I definitely did not see. I, I'm, I'm going to watch the draft after this. This draft's very interesting. Sucks for Prohel not to find any other day labor cards. I mean, Assistant Tiller is like never getting passed, but yeah, it's, it is sad not to find a seasonal worker. Um, seasonal worker often can get passed around a little. Uh, Teal did get up to 48 by taking the wood, but Teal did not take the cow critically. So Teal still does uh, breed to 50 and has two actions left. So it's, it's, I'm, I still have it 100% won this game. I think I'm winning, but so bake's getting taken. That's fine. I don't need it. Cottager loam pit is pretty sensible if you see house steward. Yeah, it is. Is fishing better? Fishing is not better. That's what that's what I was calculating. Um, with three field rotation, I have four food. I have a fireplace. I can eat this sheep. This sheep doesn't matter. So I have six food. If I take the cow, I can eat the cow. Teal needs food. Oh, Teal does need a lot of food. Oh, I probably win anyhow. But taking the cow is for sure right. This is Teal's only two-point move remaining. I'm absolutely taking this. This feeds me just as well as fishing does. It gets me to 10 food. But it makes sure that Teal doesn't have a two-point action. Because now I can eat cow and sheep for five food, and then three field rotation is the remaining food I need. So I'm exactly fed. Um, so I think cow is just clearly better than fishing there.
I, or I guess your I guess your argument is because fishing is five food is maybe enough for teal. Teal's building stables, which is only a one point move with joinery. So this is a little surprising. Builds four stables, has a has a wood left over for eating, but yeah, that's not a very efficient move. You turned three points of resources into four. Yeah, that's whatever. The fishing gets taken by Prohal, that's fine. Uh looks like I have one then. Uh, I have a I have a one point veg move here, which takes me to fifty two and I breed. Uh oh I only breed one now because the cow's already showing. Uh so I'm at fifty two, fifty three. Uh, but Teal still has to eat some of their stuff. Say, so, yeah, I never mind. I've won. Teal has to eat at least like a point or two worth of sheep. Uh, but yeah, I'll just take the veg point. I could fence, but fencing costs me tiebreaker resources. So may as well take the point this way uh, and keep up tiebreaker resources in case it matters. Um. Oh, uh, Teal could take wood at the end, so that does help them score. But I think Teal has to eat too many animals. Fencing is more stylish. Fencing is kind of more stylish, that's true. But uh, I'm still paranoid if I've actually won this game, so, you know, there's that. Hey, good game, Prohel. This one was crazy. I have not played a game like this in a while where I... I just purposely like didn't build rooms and then did a crazy, I just got crazy resource stacks in the mid game and I got an early sew and then I just, yeah, did this wild triple build max stable action. Like it was really wild. Yeah. Your pack was crazy when it got to us. I'm guessing you must've just first picked cottager or loam pit. I was worried it was much worse than that. I was expecting everybody else to have like crazy good cards. And I guess on some fairness, Teal had a childless sleeping corner. Red had grocer, plow driver, and other good stuff. I first picked a conjurer and a uh, lumber mill. Feels like we're on slightly different planets, but uh, yeah, it's, it works out. It works out. I got plenty of good cards. Rift Baluster third is awesome. The Priest Pastor actually worked out really well this game. Uh, and Clay Embankment... As, as much as clay embankment, too, the, the clay embankment was actually pretty sweet. Six clay clay embankment. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, my game was just kind of crazy efficient in a lot of ways. I got that six clay grab. I got that six wood grab. I got pastor priest as efficient. I got a six clay clay embankment. That's really efficient. I got to triple build and build four stables at once. That's very efficient. I got to red fence. I got to roof baluster. So even though I had very few actions this game... Uh, I had very, like, efficient actions overall. I had really high-quality actions. And that turned out to be enough. But it doesn't always work that way. So, yeah, this is a fun one. This was a funky one. Uh, late growth again? Yeah, late growth was also a bummer for sure. Red also probably star player too much. I mean, I, I will grant that. I got a little lucky on some of the stuff that happened, although it didn't give me a ton a ton, but uh, it certainly had to help a bit. Uh, you could have just gone rammed Clay Grocer, uh, but you would hate passing Cottager and Lone Pit. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, and a Grocer did go out of your pack. Okay. So yeah, I mean, P Port Hardcore did at least take a good card. I'm not sure why I got rammed clay then. I'm curious what he took. I'm, I'm definitely going to look at the drafts from your point of view. I'm very, I, I mostly know what happened in Teal's hand. Uh, I can largely piece out. Port Hardcore more played most of his cards. So I can kind of figure out where most things wound up. But uh, Zapper had to eat two sheep and a bunch of grain. Although he had a bunch of leftover grain. So, okay. He actually didn't eat as many points as I thought. So Zapper is still really close. This is a very close game. Which is not shocking. Um, childless and late growth is very strong. So it's it's definitely... Definitely hard to beat a late growth childless. And Port... Zapper even got away with kind of risky childless. Like, Zapper needed two read. I... E like, somebody could have easily taken two read on Zapper, and I don't know what he does. 
Uh, but yeah, Zapper winds up at 51 to my 53. Proha winds up at 48. Really tight game. At least uh, does give you a lot of ELO when you beat a bunch of other strong players. So that's fun. Whew, I definitely thought a lot during that game, but that makes sense. That was tricky. Uh, junk Room. Junk Room was kind of silly. Hardcore made a lot of early SPs, which killed you. How did it kill you, though? I'd, I'm actually really curious, Proha, how it killed you, right? You got, like, three or four Reedstone food actions, and you got plenty of good wood actions. Like, what did you not get that you wanted because he start played? Um, I am curious. The number of people placed this game. I did have the least actions. Zapper had the next least. I mean, I caught up really efficiently right during that kind of late mid game. But yeah, other people definitely just had more actions. But <laughs> only 10 wood from the board. Um, it's kind of wild, but I didn't build wood rooms. I built stables. And then I got wood from... I did get some wood from Conjurer, some wood from Pastor. But that's, yeah, that's a kind of a weird game. But yeah, I, I did earn 16 clay from the board. Took a lot of clay. Uh, took only a little stone. Really, yeah, I just, I did not take a lot of resource actions this game. That's part of what was kind of wild about my game. I did get a pair of boar and a pair of cows. That was also really efficient. Like, those are great, really good actions. So that was pretty welcome. <laughs> 12 clay from cards, 6 wood from cards, 3 reed, 8 stone from cards, pastor, priest, and roof baluster. So yeah, I, I, my cards are how I got all my resources, which was uh, funky. Adds a lot of resources to the game, too, but worked out for me. Got just enough grain in the ground early enough to mostly be able to bake it to feed. Yeah. Oh, this is new. Yeah, number of harvested grain interesting. Yeah, sowing all that early grain helped a lot of us with some feeding. Early grain is pretty strong, guys. I mean, it's not always easy to pull off, but early grain fields are good. Uh, I was going for the six room, maybe a mistake. Uh, for Pro Hell. Interesting. I'm not sure. You did not want to build wood rooms at all. Okay, you were, you, I see, you wanted to just build a bunch of clay rooms, but that's what killed you. Okay, you were not able to get your cottager and start player or brushwood. Wait, there was a brushwood in the draft? I don't remember seeing the brushwood. Wild, okay. Uh, the delay on the late labor combo for being last. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, just shows to show you that growing 6th, 7th, and 8th is great. I mean, not really. Uh, there's a new specific harvest crop section of the game flow. Yep, I just saw that, Lumen. I, yeah, that was really cool. I, I liked that in the stats. That's that's handy. I do think that helps, like, really... I do think that kind of helps show people how important it can be. Like, early grain fields can be very strong. Um, it, as always, you have to be careful. Like, if you can manage early grain fields while still not screwing up your, like, tempo on fighting for rooms and growth, then they're good. As always, if you kind of mess your game up too much. Now, admittedly, my tempo on rooms was very funky this game, but still definitely fortunate. I mean, Reno in five was also obviously very good for me with wanting to play Priest. I could have done some more traditional stuff too, so I definitely got fortunate with that flip. Uh, did get fortunate to get left six clay because Port Hardcore was starting a little, so... Oh, well. Uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, Oh, there wasn't a brushwood. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, let's peek at the draft real quick before I head off to other things. Uh, whoops, this is really not what I was aiming for. Loki, come here. Oh, deranged. Yeah, yeah, Loki's awake. Come here. Come on, bud. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, your friend. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Deranged was trying to be your friend, but you was all cute and sleepy. Yeah. Stay. Stay. Okay. Yeah, that's a good boy. Uh, all right. There's our faithful little pup treat. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right. This was a nice win, though. This felt good. Always fun to win at strong tables. Uh, one of the things is I also would not typically try this game uh, except at a strong table. So it is kind of fun to play these strong tables because it it enables you to play some styles I don't think you could totally play at weaker tables. 
Because players at weaker tables are like so unpredictable. They take stacks when you don't expect them. They don't fight for growth. One player just grows to five too fast, and you still just lose uh, a lot of the time. But it was a strong enough table that this was reasonably good. Uh, all right. Pro Hell's opening hand that I thought was crazy because when I saw it, it was still insane. Uh, and it is. It is a, just a pretty insane hand. Like, the Ock quality is very high. Grocer, very good. Rift Baluster, House Steward, quite good. Woodcutter, Carpenter, Cottager, all playable. Uh, for Miners, I got Rammed Clay and Mining Hammers options because Port Hardcore took Moldboard. Now, given that Port Hardcore had a Plow Driver, I do think that's a mistake from Port Hardcore, but not a huge one. But yeah, the miners are quite good. This hand is just very strong. I don't think I would ever... So, for the record, I don't think I would ever take Cottager, Rammed Clay, or Loam Pit. You're, you're really... I guess you're hoping to hit Seasonal, and it does kind of suck to pass that combo, but I don't think I take it here. Ah, maybe I do. You do see House Steward, and you know you're going to win House Steward. And you know you're going to wheel something like Carpenter. Ah, maybe I take it. It's just tough. Taking Cottager first just sucks. Rammed Clay is also going to be extra strong in a game where there's going to be Clay Injection. Uh, I don't know what I take here, though. This is nuts. No, I'm not playing a second game. I'm just watching that. Wheel Roughcaster. Yeah, that's true, Lumen. You do Wheel Roughcaster with this or Carpenter. Can we take Cottager? Again, I'm not drafted. Uh, what a pack. That was a fifth pick Mining Hammer, right? Yeah, it was a fifth pick Mining Hammer. I, I, although that does bring up, what did, yeah, sorry, what did, what did Teal take that, it, they didn't take Mining Hammer? Teal took Hand Plow. Teal took Hand Plow. Okay. You were really tempted to not take it, but you hated, you hated passing Cottager Lone Pit. That's fair. Yeah, this is actually a super tough draft decision, honestly. This this pack is crazy tough on what I draft. Like, Rammed Clay is going to be extra strong in a game where you know there's probably a Lone Pit getting played. You're terrified of passing Cottager Lone Pit into a Tiller. Especially when you know there's a House Steward. Just taking Roof Baluster and hoping for a big house is good. Grocer is always good. Yeah, I don't... You know, this is actually just unfortunate. You draft something and you just are sad. The Roughcaster would have been fun for Pro Hell, though. That's true. The Roughcaster was 15 food for Pro... Or, well, no, Pro Hell didn't get to build that many clay rooms, though. You'd go Loam Pit Grocer. Yeah, see, like, I don't even think that's that wrong, but I don't know what's right here. That's the crazy thing. There's so many good picks out of this pack. It is just nuts. Like, it's just nuts. All of your opponents are getting good cards. So that's the other kind of just unfortunate thing here. Like, I got a Roof Baluster that was great for me. I got a Rammed Clay that was great for me. Uh, the Moldboard should have been pretty good for somebody. The Hand Plow was fine. The House Steward... The House Steward, I still don't think, was actually very good for Teal. I mean, they got four wood out of it, and I guess the person that won House Steward didn't beat them. Although, I could have won House Steward, and I could have beat them. So, I still don't know about the House Steward play, but... Anyhow, whatever. Um, taking Cottager Lone Pit does kind of stink, because you're handing so many good cards. But I guess, yeah, it's it does suck. What else are you supposed to do? And <laughs> Indeed, you're not sure what you're supposed to do. Uh, watching people repick stuff is fun. All right, and then the draft went Milk Jug. Yeah, never saw Milk Jug. And then this pack just kind of sucks. Yeah, I never even knew there was a Firewood Collector. But this pack's kind of garbage. But Pastor was actually totally fine out of this pack for me uh, as an insurance pick, and then it definitely just turned into the game plan. Green Grocer Pond Hut. Yeah, my opening pack was... My opening miners were fine, but nothing spectacular. Taking Pond Hut is reasonable. Although, with Lone Pit in hand, Pond Hut's actually really dubious here, right? Why take Pond Hut? Especially if you're going to take Green Grocer, I think I take Vegetable. I think I take Strawberry Patch here. Pond Hut's, like, really awkward if you're trying to race out three Ox. There's such a narrow timing where you're going to play Pond Hut. But I also kind of hate Pond Hut, and I love Strawberry Patch way more than I should. So, oh, well. You'd also probably Rammed and Grocer. Seat 4 makes Rammed even better. Oh, I forgot that Pro Hell was in fourth seat here in this game, too. Yeah, that's true. 
I think you guys are right. I think I probably don't. I, I think you probably just pass Loam Pit and Cottager this game, and you just hope to God you're not passing it into an assistant tiller. But, yeah, that's tough. Pro Hall is just kind of at the wrong end of the draft here, though. I've actually, It turns out I actually was in the right spot of the draft. I got decent cards, and I got past really good things. Although, I mean, also, whatever. My game was kind of crazy to make it work, so whatever. Small scale and acorns here is reasonable. What else are you supposed to take? Yeah, it's totally fine. And then everything kind of goes as expected from there. Although, yeah, I do wonder... Well, Cottager is quite... Or, or Carpenter is quite good, but god, yeah, I am... It is interesting if Roughcaster is actually better or not. Uh, I'm just going to go peek at Zapper's opening hand here quick, just to remind me. Yeah, I mean, Zapper has, like, a dream hand. You draft Childless and pass Garbage. And then, yeah, you just take Sleeping Corner with that. That's pretty sweet. Port Hardcore, first pick Plow Driver, like he was probably supposed to. Yep, take the plow driver out, and then you're hoping, you're hoping, but yeah, I take Priest then, which made a lot of sense, and he first, Port Hardcore is at least drafted well, he takes Butter Churn here, because I never see it, yeah, and I just left with looking at mostly garbage, and then my opening hand, one more time, and then we'll kind of end here, but my opening hand, I think you just take Conjure, again, my hand's pretty garbage too, and then yeah, Miner's... Turns out that Lumber Mill did work for me. It probably was the right pick. Even just being two points was enough. Uh, I could have made some of these other cards work too. But yeah, the miners are fine. It's just not clear what's the best. But yeah. All right. Interesting. Okay. Uh, somebody's trying to make me famous. Blah, blah, blah. I'm finally catching up to chat. So right. you think the house steward was kind of fun because it caused you and Pro Hall to fight for rooms a little due to Cottager and Sleeping Corner. The growth and build cues were bizarre. Yeah, I just don't believe in throwing my opponents three points in order to try to get them to fight for three points. I don't think I like. I don't think I'm sad about building three rooms. I don't think Pro Hell's sad about building his rooms. Like, I don't know. It's probably fine. Again, I I look again. There's some stylistic differences. I know strong players that are more willing to just play four wood ox and say hell with it. But there turned out to be so much wood this game. I guess Zapper still did get first fences, and that maybe was partly because of playing House Steward, so maybe it's fine, but eh. Uh, could also take Cottager and Rammed Clay. Maybe you get past a Day Labor combo or Mantlepiece. That way you're not passing the whole combo. God, first picking Cottager is really sad, though. Cottager is just not a good card on its own. I'm increasingly of the opinion that Cottager is just not particularly good even for an early mantle piece i i see some of these people play early mantle piece strats and you're spending so many of your early actions just for points it's fun but i'm not convinced it always is actually that good or winning but you think anyone who sees a day labor earlier might be de-drafting the loan pit i mean the loan pit's definitely just getting taken loan pit does not pass around much right i mean there's no way you wheel loan pit like Passing loam pits are just scary. So, anyhow, uh, that was a wild game. It was interesting. It was fun. It was good. I am going to go see family for a bit on Thanksgiving. I don't know what I'll be playing next, but maybe, maybe some streams on. There might be some streams on Friday and Saturday and stuff. Like, it's really only Thursday that I for sure am going to be busy. So, might get a little bit in there here and there. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Um, might still try to do a little more Terra Mystica here and there at some point again. Not sure, uh, but whatever. Uh, the reason early Big Country works is because it gives you points. Containers, Mantle Piece doesn't. Yes, completely agreed, Lumen. The The issue with those early rushing Mantle Pieces, like, it's just early points play. It's sort of like sort of like a Mega Tutor, but Mega Tutor also doesn't usually just is great. But, oh, well. Uh, thanks for the stream, blah, blah. Yep, agreed, everybody. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, chatting, as always. It's good stuff. Um... Good luck, all of you, in your own games. Uh, if anybody, as usual, has anything they want for sure, let me know. I'm still quasi working up some strategy guides and ideas. Uh, I do think there'll be some C&D deck card rankings with Chris Ho and Lumen fairly soon. We're getting a lot of the work done behind the scenes, but scheduling and filming are going to take a little bit longer, but we're getting closer to that dream. We're, that should come within weeks 
maybe even just a week. Who knows? We'll see. But that's that's coming along, so that's good. Uh, more, a I don't actually like abandon all artichokes. That's what I decided. So unfortunately, there will not be more abandon all artichoke streams. I find it too chaotic. Too much is happening uh, to follow along cleanly. If I played it more, maybe I could follow it, but I also just I'm not interested. But I could stream some more Imhotep or other stuff too potentially. But we'll see. Uh, how about some Gaia? Uh, I could maybe stream a Gaia or two. I'm not a big Gaia Project fan. I've played, and I just would rather play Terra Mystica usually. Uh, Gaia Project does a couple of things that I'm not as keen on, but the BGA adaptation does look pretty sweet, so I might I might jump into a Gaia or two. That could be fun. Um, is Gaia fun? Oh, wow, none of you. You just, you're saying that you want it, but you don't even know. Well, that's fair. Uh... Yeah, uh, maybe I throw in one guy's stream if I just want to check out the implementation or something. But uh, otherwise, we'll probably keep doing quite a bit of Agricola. Maybe a little Terramistic again. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go head off. I think it's time to go probably walk Loki as well as I should uh, really kind of half pack. I only have another two hours or so of pretending to do some work. Uh, I'm not really working, but I can go do some packing and stuff in the background. and. Uh, yeah, we'll move along. So thanks all. Have a good Thanksgiving uh, for those in the U.S. Uh, and elsewhere. Uh, just enjoy, enjoy the rest of your weeks and whatever. <laughs>